for 23andMe, we're a personal genetics testing company. What we're doing today is a research project for African Americans. So we know a lot about me. I'm, I have Western European ancestry, but we know almost nothing about African Americans. And the reason for that is there just hasn't been a lot of research done on African American populations. So we'll ask you survey questions about your health information, about your family's health information, but in the meantime, you get to explore all of your ancestry data because we do know a lot about ancestry. What you're going to be doing right now is you're going to be registering your saliva with your email account so that when you get your data in about six to eight weeks that you know that it's there. So I'm going to have you get started. Go to the person raising her hand. A lot of young black women don't understand where they come from. Everyone just says that they're African American, but they don't necessarily know what um, their genetics is like or, you know, if they're of Jamaican descent or if they're of, you know, any type of West Indian descent. And so I think it's really important for us to know where we actually come from and how that really does relate into and build the person that we are today. Mm -hmm. you have any suspicion of what your results will turn out? I absolutely don't. <laughs> I don't know anything, you know. It's, it's kind of funny, I, you know, I've asked these questions when I was younger and it's kind of, you're black. That, that, that's the answer that you get. And so what does that really mean to me? It, it doesn't really have any type of connotation. So I think it really is important for me to actually understand as an adult where I come from. And so that way I can explain that to my daughter when she grows up and asks me that question. And I don't just answer with, you're black. Uh, your name is Eric? Yes. All right, so, yeah. Yeah, so, so do you agree to this? Or do you recommend it? That's called auto banking? Bio banking. Bio banking. And what is that? It's, it's something that we like right. we have this alive and we're allowed to test on it and stuff like that. Okay. And, like trace ancestors and stuff like that. And then you add it to a database. Yes. That's what the banking is? Yes. Okay. Why did you decide to do this? Um I chose to go to HBCU to learn more about my history and then just to trace my family background would be so interesting to me. I only know as far back as my great grandparents, so okay. I'd be interested to know how far back things go. Do you already have a sense of what might turn up? I have no idea. I'm curious to see if there's any French in there somewhere because my last name supposedly is French, so that's what I'm looking to see. Alright, you're all set. I'll log out here for you. Uh, you can you take this card, right? You can tell your friends basically about it. Okay. And then all you do now is just go back there and do the spit test or spit in the tube or anything like that. Don't show how to do it back there. Okay. Other than that, you're all set. <laughs> all right. Thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. Check it out. I got it. I know. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> Close it. Like I'm white right now. Bang it up a little bit. Close it and shake it. Why are people doing this? I think people don't have access to this opportunity often, and it's easier. That's one big thing because I know I've seen the commercials for the websites. You have to plug in family that you already know and try to make connections. So I think having something, a simple test, people are really curious about their ancestry. They just need an easier way to do it. That's sufficient. There's, there's Eric's DNA <laughs> right there. My ancestry. <laughs> okay. Thank you. There goes nothing. All right, let's see how many there are. Oh, there's, you can't see in the drop no. box. Let's Looks like quite a few. Yeah. See, brown stout is not proper. There it goes. <laughs>